Have you heard about AI making 3D models now? That's great, but we're way past that already. Meet the newly released AI tool that generates models with textures, rigs them for you and applies animations, all in span of few minutes while using the free account. The name is Meshi5, a fresh update of known Meshi AI platform and in this video I will test its new features. First thing we lay our eyes on is the new interface, which is a bit more appealing than the last version. As for most AI tools, all the main features are available within the top bar menu, which makes it easy to navigate. Workspace, collection of your assets… it's all self-explanatory. There is also a solid pack of resources you can use, like tutorials, referral programs and other stuff. But the interface is just packaging, and what we really care for on this channel is the outcome – the variety and quality of generated models. For that, I will start with the Community tab, which showcases models generated by other users. And it really is a chaotic playground in a good way. There is absolutely all kind of stuff you can craft here with the most unusual requests. Monsters, game assets, characters, animals, portraits, this thing, whatever that is. I mean, someone literally had an idea like, what if Star Wars Stormtroopers were actually wish-granting fairies? And then they got that. And the quality of those models? Well, see for yourself. I want you to make your own mind whether it's sufficient to your needs or not. What I appreciate the most while scrolling through this tab is the versatility of Meshi5. Most AIs I've tested so far usually focus on one type of object, like the animals only, but it's rare to see one tool supporting all kinds of different topics. Like you see here, there is really no pattern of shapes or colors, you can just improvise with whatever you want. Architecture pieces? Sure. Making props for cosplay? Why not? Alright, let's make something new from scratch. All we need to generate 3D models is a text prompt or an image. Creating a new model costs you 10 tokens and with a free plan you get about 200 of them every month. Once you click Generate, the new project appears in your dashboard and after a few seconds you get 4 different preview models. Those are only mere sketches, and your task is to choose the one which matches your vision the most. Then select if you want to generate texture or not. While accepting the preview model, you get to choose specifications, like complexity of the geometry or if you want it in quads or triangles. The higher poly count is available with a pro subscription, but you can get a pretty decent results with a free plan as well. Once the model is completed, you can access details over here or change display mode. I actually really enjoyed the transition mode, it's a really cool way to showcase your model with and without textures. What's cool is that every step of the process is accessible in separated tiles, which means if you change your mind at any moment, you can go back to any checkpoint and proceed from that point over again. You can also download the model and even assign the dimensions in the process. Ok, it's all cool and stuff, but now it's getting really interesting. You may have noticed the mysterious animate panel on the left, full of ragdoll figures minding their business. It's there for a reason. You see, if your model is a humanoid character, you can actually create a rig for it in less than a minute and apply dozens of animations after that. In the process, you need to rotate the model to achieve the perfect front view and also set the center line. Ideally, it should be splitting your model into identical halves, like a mirror. Then you set up the anchor points – chin, shoulders, elbows and so on. It's all explained right here, within this example image. To get the best outcome, it's good to work on characters in a T-pose. Make sure you include that in the prompt. Alright, I will now confirm the adjusted setup and give it a minute to process. And soon enough, a rigged model is added to my assets. From here, I go to Animate again 
and choose any of the following animations. Every rig is already supplied with walking and running animations, which you can find over here. Whenever you choose another movement pattern from the library, it's gonna automatically appear in the Edit section, where you can instantly switch from one to another. At the moment of making this video, I have counted around 150 different animations that you can use to bring your models to life. It also works with four-legged animals, you just need to select a different rig option. Everything else works the same. And it's just fun to use. Like, you can literally generate and animate concept characters in a matter of minutes. Ok, hold on. What does exactly in a matter of minutes mean? Under many of my videos about different AI tools, you guys often point out that the process is usually time-consuming. While some websites take up an hour to generate a model, others can make you wait half a day. So what about Meshi? How fast is it? I have generated a random model and measured timing for every part of the process. Each step is documented below, including preview shapes, model and texture making, and creating a rig. In total, it took exactly that amount of time to go from zero to fully textured and animated model. That was the result with the Pro subscription, but I also made another test with a free account, and the results were as follows. Again, is it fast enough? That is for you to decide. I just want to provide you with the data. Let me also share a valuable tip. Pay attention to the prompts. It really makes a huge difference if you describe your idea properly. Take a look. The only difference between those two models is in the prompt description. The more accurate the request, the better the results are. You can use the Community tab to better understand and practice prompting, and soon your models will massively improve. Final question? Are all those models 3D printable? The answer is yes, you can absolutely use generated models for printing. However, I strongly suggest extracting the details from textures to geometry to improve the models drastically. I have made a whole tutorial about that process, you will find it linked in the description. But the models are absolutely suitable for prototyping, which can be super useful if you plan to use Meshi for building your own cosplay setups, or maybe generate custom miniatures for tabletop games. And the amount of details is sufficient not only for FDM printers, but the resin ones as well. And yet, the key ingredient is all about accessibility. Given how easy it is to make those models, this will change the whole 3D printing industry as we know it. I mean, this would normally take hours to sculpt and weeks to learn the software in the first place. But now it's just click and generate. Now you tell me, is it more exciting or terrifying? And that's it for the video. I want to thank Meshi for giving me the opportunity to test out their new AI features. I'm absolutely looking forward to seeing more progress coming to this industry in the following months. If you like AI-related stuff, you are very much welcome to subscribe to this channel, as I am always trying to find the coolest updates on that topic. Thanks for watching.